Can Norv Turner get Cam Newton and the Panthers back on track? The Carolina Panthers fire defensive coordinator Mike Shula on Wednesday, three days after their first-round playoff exit. Speculation on Shula's replacement almost immediately centered on Norv Turner, who has been out of coaching since he resigned as the Minnesota Vikings offensive coordinator midway through the 2016 season. Panthers coach Ron Rivera was Turner's defensive coordinator in San Diego from 2008 to 2010, so there's a certain sense of familiarity, and the Sporting News is reporting that the deal to hire Turner in Carolina already is done. But would Turner, 65, be a good fit for Carolina's Cam Newton-led offense? Since his MVP season in 2015, Cam Newton hasn't played like a franchise quarterback here as a table compiled in June 2015 by the Daily Norseman, the Vikings' SB Nation blog, before Turner fell out of Vikings coach Mike Zimmer's good graces. It shows how Turner's offenses have fared depending on the pieces he has in place. Turner's most consistently productive offenses came while he was Chargers coach, specifically the years 2007 through 2011. Over most of that span in San Diego, Turner had a steady quarterback in Phillip Rivers, LaDainian Tomlinson running the ball, a big wideout in Vincent Jackson and a top tight end in Antonio Gates catching passes, and consistent offensive linemen in Chris Dealman, Nick Hardwick and Marcus McNeil. We all know what the Panthers have at quarterback with Newton and tight end with Greg Olson, and to hear my stat nerd colleague Neil Greenberg tell it. The offensive line didn't have a bad season. In 2017, the Panthers' offensive front allowed Newton to be pressured on just 33% of his dropbacks, the lowest rate since he entered the league in 2011. That same line was also rated as the 10th best run blocking unit by the game charters at Pro Football Focus. According to Football Outsiders, Carolina's offensive line helped convert 72% of runs on third or fourth down with two yards or less to go, into a first down or touchdown, fifth best, while allowing a 19% stuff rate, 12th best. That leaves a big wide out and a power running game. Devin Funkers has the size, he's 6 feet 5, and stepped up admirably after the Panthers traded Kelvin Benjamin with 63 catches for 840 yards and 8 scores, but he didn't have much help from his fellow wideouts. No other Panthers wide receiver who finished the season with the team had more than 17 catches. Another deep threat will be needed to make Turner's offense work, either through further developing Curtis Samuel and Damir Byrne or via the draft. Free agency. Running backs Christian McCaffrey and Jonathan Stewart, meanwhile, both failed to average four yards per carry, and Stewart will be 31 by the time next season begins. Speculation already has begun that the Panthers will cut their all time leading rusher for salary cap reasons. McCaffrey led the team with 80 receptions as a rookie but averaged only 27.2 rushing yards per game, less than Newton. One would think he would become more of a featured back if Stewart is let go. But at 5'11 and barely 200 pounds, is he capable of spearheading a power rushing attack while maintaining his role in the passing game? Tomlinson, approximately the same height but 20 pounds heavier than McCaffrey, was able to do both in the two completely healthy seasons he played for Turner in San Diego, combining for 2,584 rushing yards, 112 receptions and 901 receiving yards in 2007 and 2008. In any case, Turner's best years have come when all of the pieces have fallen into place, going back to his time as offensive coordinator during the Cowboys' most recent glory years in the 1990s. The Panthers, who finished as a mid-pack team in terms of the DVA efficiency metric in 2017 and near the bottom of the league in 2016, seem like they're about halfway there. Read more on the NFL, is quarterback Blake Bortles holding the Jaguars back from being all they could be? Fancy stats, Eagles are historic underdogs against Falcons but deserve more respect as NFC's number one seed after dismal game and brutal hit, Tyrod Taylor's time in Buffalo could be over the Panthers dared Saints quarterback Drew Brees to beat them.